in case of a polar mount antenna you can see the antenna is mounted here there is a slight angle of elevation that is made and there is a small tilt which is denoted by delta delta is given by 90 degree minus angle of elevation minus lambda e where you know lambda e is the latitude so looking at the geometry of this diagram you can see this is your angle of elevation el naught the antenna is tilted by an angle small delta and this entire angle if you can see till here it is 90 degree also from this point till this point this is 90 degree plus that small tilt that is there so this angle gives you the angle of elevation how much the antenna is elevated that is denoted by el naught delta is included in this angle 90 degree plus delta which is the angle of tilt and latitude you already know it is denoted by lambda e so by the geometry of this we can say this entire angle is 180 degree that is el naught plus 90 degree plus delta plus lambda e together is equal to 180 degree so keeping the angle of tilt we want to find out an expression for the angle of tilt delta and hence we keep it on the lhs and send all other terms to the rhs so by sending the terms to the rhs we get this 180 minus el naught minus 90 degree minus lambda e so 180 minus 90 is 90 minus el naught minus lambda e so this is the expression to find out the angle of tilt but we know the expression for the angle of elevation that is el is equal to r cos of agso by d sin b the same conventions follow whatever we have used earlier so this is the expression that we already know elevation is equal to cos inverse of agso by d sin b here we are trying to find out the elevation when the earth's station earth station is present and the satellite position is due south of the earth station so when this is the condition instead of calling it as just the angle of elevation when it is due south we call it as el naught that is why this naught symbol okay you can see here the satellite position is due south is due south due south of the earth station so when this happens what happens to the angle capital b so when the satellite position is due south it comes somewhere here so this angle b will be equal to zero because your phi e and phi ss is going to coincide right if your satellite is somewhere over here at this point then your angle b is going to be zero right because phi e minus phi e and phi ss will coincide and hence angle b is equal to zero so when capital b is equal to zero small b coincides with your latitude angle that is this is going to come here you need to visualize this small lambda e small b can be replaced with lambda e that is the angle subtended by the small b this was the angle now this coincides with the latitude angle lambda e hence you can equate them so we can write small b is equal to lambda e and capital b is equal to zero by virtue of this from the diagram we have observed we get this equation now i am going to call this as equation one so in equation one i am going to substitute these conditions i am going to replace el as el naught because we are going to consider the situation wherein the earth satellite the satellite position is due south of the earth station we are considering that condition when we are considering due that condition we call this as el naught from equation one i can rewrite this as cos of so i have written this as cos of el naught is equal to agso by d sine of lambda e 
I have replaced B with lambda I this condition and from equation 1 I have written this I have written EL0 because it is due south of the earth station the satellite position is due south of the earth station so we get this particular expression now we substitute this back into our delta equation into our delta equation to find the angle of tilt so substituting in equation say I call it star I get delta is equal to 90 degree minus instead of EL naught I write it as cos inverse of this value minus lambda E we will be using this delta expression to find out the angle of tilt this is your delta expression that we have got so the shown whatever I had shown are the intermediate steps to obtain this delta so here is the problem to determine the angle of tilt required for a polar mount used with an earth station at latitude 49 degree north and assume a spherical earth of mean radius 6371 kilometer and ignore earth station altitude so first let's write down what all are given okay the earth station latitude is mentioned to be 49 degree north so lambda e is given as 49 degree next it is mentioned assume spherical earth of mean radius 6371 that means to say the value capital R is given by 6371 kilometer we have just seen in order to find the angle of tilt the assumptions made is that capital B is equal to 0 and hence small b angle is same as lambda E that is 49 degree we take the value of AGSO same as 42164 kilometer this is as usual the standard value now in order to find the angle of elevation delta we know the formula for delta is delta equal to 90 degree minus r cos AGSO by D sin lambda E minus lambda E we had got this expression earlier right so we have all the data except the value of d right now small d so we know how to find out the value of small d the expression for small d is given by this d is equal to square root of r square plus agso square minus 2 r a agso cos b so let's substitute this equation in this equation the different values that we have that is the value of small b capital R we know small b capital R and AGSO we have so using all this we can find the value of small d again what is small d small d is the distance between the earth satellite and the earth station and the satellite point we know that delta is equal to 90 degree minus EL naught minus lambda E or substitute directly here all the values that we have to find out the value of delta so first we need let us find out EL naught which is given by this expression or that's nothing but EL naught is equal to cos inverse of this value so in order to find the angle of elevation EL naught cos inverse of AGSO we know is 42164 by 38287 sine of lambda E we know is 49 degree when we solve this we roughly get around 33.8 degree so our delta is nothing but 90 degree 
minus El naught that is 33.8 let us substitute minus 49 degree okay we get around 7 degree so this is our delta or the angle of tilt